you guys are in here. Time to show you guys some gameplay. Show you guys how to get this new free epic Kilo Bolt Action Constable. New free epic skin is available in a seasonal challenge, the Gold or Nothing Challenge. Every season they give out one free epic skin in the seasonal challenges. For this season we got the Kilo, which makes sense. It fits in with the theme of the season, you know, the Wild West theme, the Kilo. Bolt Action kind of has that Wild West theme to it, just as a weapon in general. And of course this Constable skin is very Wild West themed. The skin itself though, it's pretty solid, nothing too crazy. It is the first free Kilo blueprint that they've given out, so people will definitely be happy about that. The skin isn't bad though, pretty solid looking. It's a very like clean looking looking skin. Pretty cool, got the gold accents and that kind of thing. And again, like I said, very Wild West themed. But the seasonal challenge itself, it's not super hard to do, but it just takes a lot of time, very time consuming challenges. So first challenge is play three matches in any, mo in any mode. Pretty simple, just play like a shipment free for all or team death match, get it done quickly. Next challenge is use operator skills four times in multiplayer matches. Again, just play like a kill confirmed shipment, have like gravity spike spikes on. Should be able to do it basically in one match, if not two matches max. The next challenge, earn the Avenger medal in multiplayer matches ten times. So to get the Avenger medal, you should have to kill someone who recently killed your teammate. So just play shipment, like kill confirmed or domination or something. You should be able to get like almost all 10 of them in one single match. But just run around with your teammates, wait for one of them to die and kill the person that killed them. It's pretty simple. Even just playing regularly without even trying to get the Avenger medal, you'll eventually get it done over like two matches probably. Next challenge is earn the bullseye medal in multiplayer matches eight times. So the bullseye medal is getting a kill with the hunter killer drone. So obviously equip the hunter killer drone. You can have hardline as your third perk slot to get your score streak faster. Again, I just played a shipment match, like Domination or Hard Punch or something. I, got, like, I think I got like all eight kills in one match, I believe. So it's not very hard just to get the score streak. Instead of throwing the Hunter Kill up straight in the air, actually throw it specifically at people, especially like if they're on the hard point or on like the one of the flags in Domination. You'll most likely get more than one kill with one Hunter Killer drone, especially if you're playing these objective based modes. Next challenge is use the class chip five times in battle royale matches. Okay, you can really use any class, but I'm pretty sure the grapple hook class, you actually get your class chip faster if you use the grapple hook, I think, I believe. So I just use that class, got it, and just like literally sat around, ran around, and just like waited for my class chip to be usable, and just used it right away, and just do that five times. Pretty simple. Next challenge, second to last one, is earn the medic. Battle Royale medal and Battle Royale matches three times. So, the Medic Battle Royale medal, what it is, is healing up 200 HP basically in one single match. So you can only get this once per match, so you have to play three matches to do this. Again, this is where like it's a little bit time consuming. These last two challenges, so you have to play three matches and just basically heal up 200 HP in each match. So what I did was I was on somewhere near water. Like a point of interest near water like Sakura or something. Loot up, grab as much like healing stuff as possible and have the medic class on of course. Now once I had like enough that I know I'd be able to heal 200 points of HP, I would just like run in the water let myself drown and like take enough damage to where I have like 10 health and then just get out, heal up and just do that over again until I hit 200 HP healed so Pretty simple to do, just a little bit time consuming because you have to do it three different times in three different matches. The last challenge is earn the worm medal in battle royale matches three times. The worm medal is such a weird medal, I don't even know why it's even in the game to be honest, but to get the worm medal, you have to stay prone for more than 180 seconds. So this is such a strange medal, but it exists. I didn't even know it existed until the challenge, but it does exist. Basically what I did was I'd land somewhere random point of interest, just grab a weapon real quick, and then go upstairs in the building and just lay prone and just like watch the doorway. So like, if someone came up you could easily kill them. But yeah, just, just lay prone. You make sure it's for more than 180 seconds. So, it's a pretty simple challenge, but again, a little bit time consuming. And I didn't test this out, but I'm pretty sure you can only get this once per match. So like once you do your 180 second prone, just let yourself die and then go into another match and do it again. Again, I didn't test this out. I did test it out with the medic medal, but I did not test it out with the worm medal if you can do all three in one match. So 
I'm assuming you have to do separate matches, but if anyone knows for sure, let me know. But just to be on the safe side and not waste time, I did three separate matches. You just got the word medal in each match. So that is all the challenges. Again, pretty easy challenges, such as a little bit time consuming, especially the last two challenges. It's because they mix battle royale and multiplayer challenges together. Usually it's separate, where you have a multiplayer seasonal challenge and a battle royale seasonal challenge. But this one, they mix them together. But that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comments below, though, if any questions on these challenges. What do you guys think of the Kilo skin itself? Do you guys like it? What do you think of it? Thanks for watching. Peace.